Okay, so we're looking at a um, probability question where the length of a petal for a certain flower is going to be modeled by a random variable with the probability density function f of x is, is 1 over 2 root x. But this is only when x is from 9 to 16. So maybe we should write it like this instead where we have the piecewise function uh, 1 over 2 root x when x is between 9 and 16 and then 0 otherwise. And so the function is 0 and then only between 9 and 16 does it become this, this 1 over 2 root x. After 16 it's back to 0, before 9 it's 0. Part A. Find the expected value. The expected petal length. Um, the expected value is the same as the mean. And the Greek letter that we use for that is mu. We have the formula that you should just integrate from minus infinity to infinity x times f of x. So the minus infinity to infinity will degenerate then to just be only 9 to 16 because it's 0 otherwise. No need to integrate when the function is 0. So we go from 9 to 16 and then we should simplify. Well if you have x over root x then that's just uh, a root x in the numerator. So um, it's 1 half of root x. And so we integrate that. Uh, let me pull out the half and make it x to the half. And then we're going to add 1 and get 3 halves. So we have 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. Evaluated from 9 to 16. And the half and the two-thirds can just be called one-third. Upper limit is 16 to the three-halves. Lower limit is 9 to the three-halves. And so 16 to the three-halves is uh, 4 cubed because 16 is 4 squared. And you can multiply the exponents canceling the twos. So we get 4 cubed which is 64. Here we're going to get 3 cubed for the same reason, which is 27. So we have 1 third of 64 minus 27. So we get the mean is, uh, yeah, 1 third of uh, 37. So we'll call it 37 over 3. or 12 and one-third. Twelve point three repeating. Alright, great. Now, uh, parts B and C ask for the standard deviation. And so, um, there's a separate formula for that. Where we take x minus the mean and square it. And multiply by f of x. And integrate from minus infinity to infinity with respect to x, and then we have to take the square root. So um, let me save that part for another video. Uh, part C, I'm going to find the probability that a petal selected at random has a length more than three standard deviations above the mean. And so that part also, because you need the standard deviation to solve that. Uh, we'll save that as well. And let's focus on A and D. So part D is I want to find the median petal length. We have the formula for finding the median. There's an equation that gets set up that the median is this value M. 
that when you integrate from m to infinity, you end up with exactly half of the area. Now remember the, uh, the function is only alive between 9 and 16. The function is 0 less than 9. It's 0 when you're more than 16 for x. And it's only between 9 and 16 that the function becomes 1 over 2 root x. And so, if I'm supposed to integrate from m to infinity, then that will translate to be integrating from m to 16. Because I don't need to go past 16. Going past 16, the function is 0. And so, let me pull the half out and call it x to the negative 1 half. So then when I integrate, I get the half, I get x to the half, but then I have to divide by a half. Usually I say multiply by 2, but with this half out here, they conveniently cancel. And so, that's going to be set equal to a half. Or basically... The, uh, the root of x evaluated from 9 to, I'm sorry, from m to 16 is equal to a half. So we have the root of 16 minus the root of m is equal to a half, solve for m. And so uh, adding the root of m over and subtracting the half over, 4 minus a half is what the root of m is. That's 7 halves. And so we square both sides to find out that m is 49 fourths. That's the median. You should be able to find the median. You should be able to find the mean. And uh, if need be, I'll revisit the uh, standard deviation question, um, parts B and C. Okay, great.